Let's take a look at how plays like this can be modeled using math. Well, if we start with the player crossing the ball and we want to find how high they jumped, and we know that after 1.2 seconds, the ball reached a maximum height of 22.7 feet, and after 2.1 seconds, the player headed the ball, we can take our vertex form quadratic equation and sub in our 1.2 seconds and our 22.7 feet into our h and k respectively in our equation. Now, we need to find out what a is. To do this, we can take our 0, 0 coordinate, which is right when the ball left the player's foot, and sub this into our equation for x and y. Now, if we rearrange this equation and isolate a, we can find that a is equal to negative 15.76. Now, if we take this and sub this in for a in our original equation, we can get the following. We can now take our 2.1 seconds and sub this in for x in our original equation. Now, if we simplify this equation and solve for y, we find that y is equal to 9.93 feet, meaning that our player headed the ball 9.93 feet in the air.